Welcome back. When we left off, we've turned ourselves into this founder person. For your service to Sky City, I grant you these gifts. Eh, yeah, don't get crap. There, see? I can't she summoned. It must lead to the Eversource. Really? That's what you're focusing on? I'd say we have bigger problems on our hands. Like Aiden. Look at him, all friendly with the Founder. That's bad news. Lucas is right. We need to figure out what Aiden is up to so we can stop him. That's what we need to stay focused on. I've got the feeling I already know what Aiden is up to. Take your reward and enjoy the bounty of Sky City's generosity. Carrots? Really? You gotta be kidding. We are honored, wonderful Founder. Of course. Now go. I have criminals to deal with. Good luck, Jesse. I hope you like being doomed. Totally doomed. Blaze rods! Aiden, you don't have to do this. We can work together and all go home. Oh, we're way past that, Jesse. Out of my way, Reggie. It's Reginald. Come on, criminals. Time to see the Founder. Jesse and accomplices. You have committed acts of wanton and illegal building, something specifically forbidden by our laws. Explain yourself. This could still turn out okay. Are you kidding? She does not sound friendly. But I didn't know it was against the law when we started to build. We were stranded. What are we supposed to do? Ignorance won't get you any favors. Aiden told me all about you, Jesse. About how you're a tyrant back home. About how you and your Order of the Stone steal all the world's treasures for yourself. About how you're here to steal the Eversource from my city. A terrible act of treason. Whoa, 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 you got it all wrong. The, the Blaze Rods are the thieves, not us. We're just here trying to get back the thing they stole from us. Really? Jesse, it's clear that you're the little ringleader. So how about you come with me? Um, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just wait here then. Eh, they can pull some crazy stunts off while I'm gone. Tell me what you see. What are you getting at here? As you can see, nothing exists below us. Only the void. You mean the sky? Resources. Every kind are incredibly precious. And when something falls, it is gone forever. Uh -huh. It is why building only happens when I dictate it. People only receive materials when I allow it. Otherwise... We would collapse back into chaos. Okay, that, that's a pretty good reason. It is my duty to keep my people safe. And the only way I can do that is if our laws are obeyed. I guess that makes sense. How would you get anything new up here? I appreciate your trying to understand our world. <sighs> people act as though I want things to be this way. Allocating the limited resources. Risking my life every day. Wait, what do you mean by limited? I heard the Eversource could make unlimited precious materials. If only it were so simple. I'll have you know that before I found the Eversource, this world was nothing more than a cluster of pathetic islands in the sky. I do this for my people. That is why I do what I do. No, I'll be friendly. You don't need to do it alone. We could help you. We could work together. <sighs> Being the leader of this city, it is a tiring burden. Uh, but no, this is my city. These are my people. And it is my responsibility. I think I've heard quite enough. Good. Now that you're back, we can talk properly. Reginald, I've made my decision. 
While I'm not convinced that you are here to steal the Eversource, the fact remains that you constructed a bridge of dirt without authorization. That is why you and your companions are to be detained <gasps> until I can discern the full truth of the matter. Reginald, please remove them. Yes, ma'am. What? No, that's not the end of the world. But, but we were getting along so well. <sighs> I'm afraid this is the way it has to be. Sorry, outsiders. Founder's orders. No changing your mind now. I uh, shall regret this. And besides, still got Petra and the other guy to help us. You know, his prison cells go. This isn't too bad. You guys have some really fascinating stuff here. Hey, you already locked us up. Do you really need to confiscate our stuff, too? Well, it wouldn't be much of a jail if I let you keep your stuff. Oh, wow. What is this? <laughs> He's never seen sand. That's fine. It's almost like dirt, but not. That's called sand. You've never seen sand before? Sand? Wow. What's it do? Are you kidding me? We are not going to explain sand to the guy locking us behind bars. I refuse. Well, whatever it does, it's going in the chest with everything else. <laughs> Nothing sadder than an unimportant man on the world's tiniest power trip. Mm. Hey, I don't have to take this. I'm in charge here. You're criminals. Aiden told everyone all about how horrible you are. <clears throat> he said that you burn down trees just for fun. That you steal all the world's treasures and hoard them for yourself. He also said that you tame wild animals just so you can make them chase innocent people. Does this look like the face of a horrible criminal? <laughs> well, no. I suppose you don't seem that way now that I meet you. I'm sorry, but this is the way it has to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go help the Blaze Rods beef up security. Why are they in charge of security? I can't believe I'm taking orders from that sniveling little... <clears throat> Stay here. Don't cause any trouble. I'm sure you'll be very comfortable. Reginald, you've got to listen to me. Aiden's tricked the Founder so that he can steal the Eversource for himself. There's not much time. They're personal guests of the Founder, and sure, maybe I don't like them, but... I'm probably just being... paranoid. Why do you think they're sucking up to the Founder so much? You fool! They want to get her guard down and then steal the Eversorts! That... oh, jeez. You might have something there, I... I, I don't know. Mm. Uh, okay. Let's say you make a good point. And I'm not saying you do! But hypothetically, why would I, Captain of the Guard, let you, a criminal, out of that cell. I'll never know how you looked at them and thought, there are some upstanding citizens. I know that if you really think about it, you'll see. We should be on the same side here. We're the good guys. <clears throat> good guys, huh? Okay, let's say I'm heading to the pantry to get you prisoners some bread. Do you, do you see where I'm going with this? How long would you say something like that would take you on average? Probably about as long as it would take someone to get from here into the throne room. Yeah. Just get out of here. Get 
to the throne room and stop the blaze rods. <laughs> ha! Nice work! Now, on to the episodes. Now, I understand wanting to stop the blaze rods, but you can't still really want to steal the Eversource, can you? I'm actually starting to have my doubts about taking the Eversource. These people really seem to depend on it. What? So you'd rather just hand it over to the blaze rods? Mm, good point. It would be one thing if we were plundering a temple, but this? This is starting to feel like stealing. I was right. The blaze rods have got to be stopped. Damn, he has a lot of potions. Throne room was back this way. Woo! Not a chapter. So we're about the halfway point, I'd say. So where is oh, the episode? Back in the throne room. Keep your voice down. We don't know if we're alone in here. I don't know. Looks deserted to me. Behind you. Behind you! <coughs> hey! Wait, stop! Milo, easy! That's Jesse and Lucas! Jesse! I can't believe we found you! I can't believe you punched me. Ah, uh, yes. I feel absolutely terrible about that. Let me assure you. Where were you? Yeah. We were actually planning to break you out of jail, but I guess you guys have that covered. Hello again, Jesse. It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once more. I had hoped this would be the case. This is all very nice and very sweet, but who the heck are you? <laughs> you trust this guy, Petra? Yeah, he really helped me. He's cool. In actuality, I'm the leader of a group that wants the same thing you do. It's a rebellion. It is he would have to have a beret for a rebellion, sure. wouldn't he? My people want to free the Eversource from the Founder's clutches so that everyone may use it. If Aiden and his blaze rods steal the Eversource, we'll just be trading one tyrant for another. And I won't allow that. Yeah, he's got to be stopped. So wait, whoever has the Eversource has the together, place. We can find it first. I do like the idea of beating Aiden. Milo, I'm happy to have you aboard. Welcome to the team. I'm very pleased to be involved. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. Probably on the tracks. Yeah, there was a door here before with a minecart. Yeah. What happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's got to be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! Hmm. I'm not sure what to make of this episode so far. Still looking like it needs power. Don't worry, I'll find the answer. Okay. I believe in you. Yay! See anyone? Not yet, but the acoustics are funky in this place, so it's hard to tell when people are coming. We shouldn't hang around. Got it. I'm glad you're okay, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, me too. I wonder what happened to the rest of the Order of the Stone? Habits the old one, I mean. By Soren? Well, how'd that get here? So big, nothingness. I mean, there isn't like a potion or something that could help us, is there? That's not how potions work, Jesse. Hmm. Although I should really look into that. Oh, uh, Jesse, thank you by the way for getting arrested with me. No one's ever done anything like that for me. Ah, uh, well, you're welcome, I Now go away! All of this opening up <laughs> is making me grossly uncomfortable. Hmm. Huh. <gasps> A cobblestone generator. 
Amazing! Lava and water. Placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone! Genius! That is ingenious! Alright, now we just need a stick. Definitely regal, not bad. I'm gonna sit on it. Jesse, what are you doing? Ah, sorry. So do you have like any underground rebel type secrets that could help us out here? Uh I'm afraid not. Though I will certainly tell you if I think of any. He's such a cliche rebel. Hmm, I get the feeling this is a special tree. Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. Well, that is pretty special. See, if they were just wise of everything, resources wouldn't really be much of an issue. Poor dead bush. Barely more than a bundle of sticks. Something like, Jesse, it looks like it doesn't have any power. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm not really sure what to the do. Rest are just inventory registries and legal information. Boring. I can't cut down that tree. I'm not sure how to get more wood. This must be where the founder crafts things for the people. Oh. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Oh, nice. Perfect. Well, there we go. I think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. All right. Okay, let's, let's build do this. this lever, and I may in the episode after that. Ah, my old friend, the lever. Fantastic! Yeah. Didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. Okay. You and your friend Petra have been very inspiring to me and my people. With your help. We may finally liberate ourselves from the Founder's clutches. If this place sucks so much, why don't you just move? I mean, we, we came here, so you could probably go with the way we came. Alright, here we go. Jeez, that's loud. Eversource, here we come. Convenient that there were five. Ooh, that's a bit of a building right there. Wow, look at all these chests. Yeah, and they're all... Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean? Wait, can they spawn animals? Huh. An egg. Eggs. The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot. Oh, this is this is pretty impressive. A sheep. 
sheep? Is... is that a monster? That is not so bad. It is fluffy. It's a sheep. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. So the Eversource makes these spawn egg things. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah! I can't wait! While we're here, let's grab some wolves. And maybe a pig. Let's take a look around. Right. Gonna end the episode around here, so thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, rate, or subscribe if you have, and goodbye.